What's happening everybody? The Poets here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. And today's video is a continuation of what I've been doing lately of basically teaching people how to build a PC kind of from scratch. And one of the main things now with this new AMD platform is the chipset. It's a now an AM5 platform. So you're familiar with pins being actually on the CPU for the older AM4 style of AMD processors. Now the pins are on the motherboard and that has changed a lot of things. RAM being one of them. So in my previous video, I showed how I applied this CPU water block to this AM5 CPU. So specifically the 7950X, 16 cores, 32 threads on this MSI Meg X670E ACE motherboard, very nice motherboard. MSI, let's, uh, let's talk, you know, um, product placement right here. And uh, so what we're doing here is showing that today, the old school, and even though it's still new, still made, still relevant, still very fast, DDR4 RAM is no longer going to fit on these new motherboards. Now, on the Intel side, yes, you can still use DDR4 RAM on their brand new high-end 12th gen, 13th gen processors with those motherboards because they're doing kind of a hybrid approach where uh, some of the motherboards are going to actually say DDR4 compatible, some are gonna say DDR5 compatible. So you have to make sure you're getting the right motherboard on the Intel side for their new stuff. On the AMD side, it's just all DDR5. So somebody like me, I have tons and tons of DDR4 sticks laying around. Can't use that with the new 7950X processor because this new standard is only DDR5. So Kingston Fury did supply a lot of RAM for me on the DDR5 side. So this is 6,000 mega transfer speeds, uh, CL36. Uh, very nice, no RGB, so it's gonna be a nice clean black look to kind of go with this theme that I'm doing here with this build. And you can actually sometimes find nice deals. Now, this is G-Skill, 32 gigs of uh, 5,600 mega, mega transfer, 5,600 mega transfers. This was given free to customers if they bought something like a 7950X processor at Micro Center. And this says $249 because it's not cheap. DDR5 RAM is one of the barriers to people wanting to upgrade from their AM4 platform to AM5 because you have to buy new RAM. You have to buy a new motherboard. And obviously you're getting the new CPU because that's the main reason why you want to go up. Um, now, this video is not necessarily the differences between DDR4 and DDR5. It's more educational of how to put these DDR5 sticks on the motherboard. And you'll see that it's physically different. So even if you try to put DDR4 sticks on this motherboard, it's not going to work. Now, there are benefits to DDR5. Uh, one, it does use a, a lot less wattage, all right? So you're gonna save a little bit of power. They are faster as well, which is nice, and they have higher capacity. So there's plenty of reasons why you want to go with DDR5 eventually. And we've been using DDR4 for so long that, yeah, now is definitely the time. So let's go ahead and uh, put this motherboard on its back. It's got a nice, solid, rigid back plate right here. And uh, install this uh, RAM and show you the differences between the two. For RAM installation, these are the four slots that you want. And not all motherboards will open fully on both sides here. So you'll actually see latches like this. Typically, the bottom ones will always open up, all right? Sometimes the top ones will open up as well as they do on this motherboard, which is nice and convenient. Now this HyperX Fury RAM that you'll see here will actually not fit. You'll notice the grooves. I'm trying to show you at a nice angle. This groove here is too far over to the left. So that's one way to kind of know like, hey, something's not right here. Now it's too far to the right, right? So if it doesn't line up, don't force it. It's probably the wrong RAM or you need to flip it. One of the two, but you should just check the packaging and make sure you have DDR5 RAM right here. Kingston Fury does say DDR5, 6,000 mega transfers, CL36. So we're gonna go ahead and open these up. Additionally, this is the new standard for technically overclocking the AMD Expo. So you do want to look for this for any RAM you want to put on the AM5 motherboards. Okay, look for that sticker. And now you open this up. Let's do the first one. So doing it blind, you can kind of tell that this is actually slightly off from the DDR4, right? So it's very close, 
DDR4 is on the bottom, DDR5 is on top. You can kind of tell that there is a difference, right? So we're gonna put the DDR4 aside and the DDR5 should just slide right in here, just like that. I like to use four fingers at a minimum to make sure it's securely down and then snaps on both sides, all right? Some people like two thumbs at a time, but then I've also seen videos where people slip and crack the RAM in half. So you wanna stay away from that. So being secure and safe is definitely the way to go. So you're just gonna slide these ends right into here, all right? Slide, slide, and firmly, securely, press it down, two snaps, all right? And it's fine if both sides don't snap at the same time, but you want them to basically be flush at the same time. So both are flush, but it's not in all the way. Snap, snap, right? Very satisfying. Last one, there we go. That's in, but snap, snap. 64 gigs DDR5 RAM, courtesy of Kingston Fury, their beast RAM. So installing RAM is pretty straightforward, but I do have to recommend that you do read your manual for your motherboard, because let's say you don't have all four sticks of RAM readily available, there are combinations for where you need to put, say just one stick or just two sticks of RAM, or maybe even three if that's what you have. Uh, I do recommend two or four sticks because of reasons maybe i'll get into those in a future video but open up your motherboard manual and you'll see hey i have two sticks of ram these are the two slots that it says i need to put those sticks of ram in okay if you have four sticks self-explanatory so there is a difference in summary between ddr4 and ddr5 ram ddr5 ram is faster takes less wattage which is kind of nice in this day and age and higher capacity which is definitely nice and um, yes, it does cost more, but prices have been dropping, which is nice. And again, deals like what Micro Center was doing was giving free RAM, DDR5 RAM, with the purchase of a you know, 7950X in this case, is very nice and helpful and welcome. So again, let me know in the comments what you guys uh, have questions on. Definitely check out my last video where I showed how to put thermal paste on this AM5 processor. And uh, there's actually a giveaway option at the end of that video. So. Yeah, check that out. All right, if you like this video, go ahead and like it. Please feel free to subscribe because I think like 80% of you that watch this aren't subscribed. So please hit the subscribe button. I got more to share. And uh, yeah, go ahead and feel free to share this video as well. So other than that, I'm out. Peace.